The Receiver. American author Horace Greeley once wrote, Go west, young man, go west. Mel Gray decided to do the opposite. He traveled east, from California to Columbia, Missouri, where he displayed his world-class speed on Missouri football and track fields. He was a two-time All-American in track, and named to the Missouri All-Century football team. But pro scouts didn't like his size, maybe 5'9", so he wasn't taken until the sixth round of the NFL draft. Turned out to be one of the football Cardinals' best picks in their history. He was a four-time Pro Bowl selection and one of Jim Hart's favorite targets in the era of the Cardiac Cardinals. He averaged 19 yards a catch on 351 receptions. That's fifth all-time in the NFL. Gray and the end zone were very good friends. They met there 45 times. Three seasons in a row, he had receptions of 80 yards. Gray's ability to beat defensive backs and outrun them was a treat to watch. If Mel got behind the defense, there was no catching him. Gray played in four Pro Bowls and led the NFL in 1975 with 11 receiving touchdowns. Mel lives in Rockford, Illinois, where he mentors youth in that community. He is a high school girls track coach, hoping to find another world-class runner. We are honored to induct number 85, Mel Gray, into the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame.